food, baby. I love food and I know that you love food too. Today I have something amazing and I'm looking forward to it. It's a South African food tasters and I have the bunny chow. So bunny chow, this is a loaf of bread. You cut it in half and then you fill it with curry. And I decided to go with chicken peri peri. I used this sauce as a base, paco, curry, chicken peri peri. And then I added some garlic, spring onions, bell peppers and sweet potatoes. So that's it basically. And I'm really looking forward to this. So these are two dishes in one, the bunny chow and chicken peri peri. And as a drink, I have pinotage. And Pinotage is a very popular wine in South Africa. South Africa is really known for it. And this wine also contains null sulfur. So pretty nice. Stellar Organics. Organic wine as well, fair trade. So really looking forward to this wine. But let's start with the bunny chow. This looks amazing. I love curry in bread or soup in bread. There's a nice Polish mushroom soup that's also served in a bread and I can't wait any longer. Got my spoon ready and I'll have a nice big piece. Let's go. Mm. And the sauce is very flavorful, cumin note, very nice really strong. Let's have some sweet potato. Mm, nice and tender. So the good thing is about the bunny chow and all soups in a bread, you have your carbohydrates, you can eat the bread. So that's really great. Let's have one more big piece. Mm -hmm. And that's some good stuff. Spicy as well. So let's have a bit of the bread. And you can use it also as a spoon, basically. And there you go. And this is the way to go for sure. So you really use the bread as your spoon. That makes it even better. One more bite. Mm. So great dish. I think if you make the sauce yourself, as always, even nicer and it should be pretty easy to do it yourself. Next time I'll try it, but I had this at home, so I wanted to use it and there was a good occasion today. So I would give my version of the bunny chow, the chicken peri peri bunny chow, 72 points. I really want to try it from someone who does this regularly. I think it will be fantastic. And I do curries myself at home. I'll do them vegetarian most of the time, so they would also fit nicely here with some normal potatoes, for example, but very good. So let's try the pinotage. Color nice and dark. There's a dog barking outside. Hmm, that's not a bad wine. Quite sweet, I would say. Mm -hmm. Definitely not that bad. One more sip. And South Africa is a great country for wine. And I definitely want to try more. This one from Stella Organics. The Pinotage is well balanced, I would say. It has a bit of acidity, but not too much, which I like. And it fits nicely with 
a strong curry like this, like the chicken peri peri. And yeah, I would give it 74 points. There you have it. Another episode of South African food and drink. Really fun this time, the bunny chow. Do it at home, very easy. Whatever curry you usually do, you can throw in the loaf of bread and you have your spoon ready, you have your carbohydrates. So that's a great thing, I would say. I'll do more soups in the future in bread, in loaves of bread. And I'm really looking forward to this. So comment, like or dislike, subscribe, of course, to my channel. See ya.